Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News Freak here, a.k.a. Mr. Manny Wolverine. You guys are wrestling to the non George's channel. I mean, of course, social media platforms like um, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, as always, Bishop Radion, Odyssey, Minds, Reddit, um, all the other good stuff. And of course, I'm even Telegram at the point, like I said. In case the channel gets shut down, channel bad, channel ban, shadow ban, any of the other mess up crap up stuff, or gets deleted or hacked, what have you. Anyways, get into the main topic at hand, though. <laughs> and I was like four or five days old. Actually, no, it's only two days old. So it says, um, yeah, April 3rd of 2023. Okay, so it says the voice actor who played this Ada Wong, which I think her name was something Zhao. I think Lily Gao, I think that's what her name was. Pretty sure that's what, yeah, Lily Gao. Voice actor who played Ada Wong, Lily Gao, in the Resident Evil 4 remake, the master wipes her Instagram after har harassment. So, anyways. Links to Chris Bowser on Blow Cartel on the side. One small tiny thing I want to talk about before to begin. I heard from um, Grapevine, who's usually the people I usually watch most of the time when it comes to drama news or anything that has to do with like YouTuber um, beefs or squashes, squashing the beefs or going on with drama or um, continuing just following the hamster wheel of drama in general, whether it's Twitch or Instagram, Discord, TikTok, whatever, what have you. I will say this um, there was one. Actually came out of here was a good thing. Um, one of my boys, I don't know who the heck it was, but it was somebody I usually watch most of the time. He said that he may end up getting like freaking canceled within less than a week, maybe a month even, which I doubt it might be like four or five days at most. Probably less than a week than that. Um, the Duke Calvin, or better known as from 2015, 16, all the way to like 2020, uh, Leafy's here came back, and I may or may not do video on that. If not Friday, I'll probably do a Saturday, so stay in tune for that. Seems pretty fucking interesting. But links to scripts box down below when, uh, without further ado, yeah, let's jump into this thing. Okay, so yeah, like I said before, let's just jump and dive in head first and uh, let's get to the drama craziness of the video game industry universe. So it says, and a little bit of voice acting Hollywood shit too. After receiving thousands of complaints from fans, a Resident Evil voice actor removed all but one of her Instagram posts. It's the thing that kind of soul crushed me about it too when she posted what she did. That was an absolute waste of freaking beautiness, sexiness, hottestness, gorgeousness. I swear to God, I'm not simple for Lily Gal, but you've been on my channel for a long time. You know how it is. Especially when it comes to beautiful, hot, fine as hell, attractive, absolutely dime pieces, goddesses, wifey looking chicks. Especially, especially, extra especially. Not saying I don't like white, Latina, or black chicks, because I like them too, but. And of course, Latinas most, because, you know, they're my race ethnicity, obviously. <laughs> Um, but Asian women, you already know, I, it's like literal kryptonite of my life in a good way. I sent for the so freaking gosh dang hard, it's ridiculous. I almost idolize the air that they, the freaking ground they walk on. Because I'm so, so mega overly obsessed with Asian women that comes to their hotness and beauty and sex appeal. That's just how it is for me. I've been like that since I was even six years old, it's crazy as that sounds. But yeah, let's start it for real now. Um. Fandom was a mistake. You can see the screenshots of some of those over the top comments as quote opening tab and Twitter transcripts and the text files quote you ruined the remake. I feel like it was just wasting my money and quote your voice acting was horrible for the remake. It sounded. You can also see screenshots for some of those over the top comments, Twitter tantrums like da da da. Okay, I just read all this. Sounded like a super stiff, and there was nothing seductive about it. <coughs> Excuse me. It didn't fit along at all. OMFG. I hope, I hope that they don't hire ass as Ada's voice for another video game, unquote. Hands have said her performance sounds, quote, bored and lifeless. But whatever you think about someone's acting, the idea of tracking down the voice actor on social media to tell someone, or to tell her she's pissed in their cornflakes is completely baffling to everyone outside the echo chamber fandom. It's not as if someone at Capcom chose Gao for, or excuse me, by accident, or forgot to direct her during her recordings. And also goes on to keep on saying, <laughs> we got a mouthful of this freaking crap to talk about. He says, um, holy, holy fucking shit, nobody cares. You can, you are catering to gamers, and nobody gives a fuck about that our employees are dying to make GTA, so why should we give a fuck, WTF? Why is the audio quality... 
so bad because she isn't the same from the original. She can't handle criticism. What is it? Don't know how bad she is, but I'll see when I play it. I'll see it when I play it. LOL, she did amazing work. I love it. Some people need to go get therapy. There seems to be some ridiculous, so ridiculous to me. Sounds so ridiculous to me. I guess that's what she meant to say or he meant to say, whoever it was. I mean, that's sweet. Wouldn't it be the director's fault? Sad or hearing to imagine of how much a virgin you have been. Oh, wow. This person is really, really upset about that, man. Cause they seem like they're really, really triggered about whatever it is that they... Then I'm, I guess, getting her in the past by some dudes, I guess, and she was a girl. Who knows? Yeah, sad to hear the image of how much of a virgin you have to be doing to get into this. And I guess it's like, I'll read a few more. Yeah, resident for Lily, Lily Gao has closed her Twitter and Instagram account to comments after receiving thousands of idiot shaming people to have to act this way. I thought she was one of the weakest VA, but. I wouldn't go as far as to harass her about it. Keyboard Warriors. That's some like early mid 2000s, early 2010s freaking shit. You're saying Keyboard Warriors, man. That's way old school. I even remember that back when I was in high school, college, but let's move forward. I thought she was fine. I was confused at first. I didn't know that they changed her, but she was good in my opinion. IMO. Doesn't deserve all that hate. All this hate. This problem I have had with the audio sounding low with certain characters. It happened during the Resident Evil 3 remake, too. Or maybe this problem is on my system. She did find why the hate. Love her voice acting for Ada Wong. Those are not Resident Evil fans. Real Resident Evil fans love from Resident Evil 1, 1997. Voice acting, which is absolutely horrific. That's what they said. I thought it was the best of all time. Then again, I was a 90s kid. I loved the living crap out of this freaking series when I was a freaking 90s, early 2000s kid. But let's move on. Those are new Resident Evil fans which isn't even real Resident Evil anyways. Not sure how or why people blame when the voice actors and actresses when they are plenty of other people that led, led to get published by them like that. If her voice didn't fit the part, casting issues, if that's how they wanted to have her speak this part, directions, excuse me, direction and issues, to just play the part as she was told to do, grow up people. <laughs> I don't know if there's any more than that. There might have been more. Oh, yeah, there was. And then these last two over here. Gamers are the worst. These are not fans, dude. Why is everyone in the community so cancerous enough to harass voice actors and actresses to make them do stuff like this? Like, you guys actually have such human garbage. I mean, she's not even a good... She's not a good actress in the slightest, and she totally blew her role, but harassing her is personally WTF. The complaints should go towards Capcom. She's just doing this for her job. It's pretty shitty. One at that. Voice acting was kind of bad, but how much of a loser do you have to be to go bully her on Instagram? That's kind of sad. She should have done a better job, though. So I guess there's a bunch of tweets from fans that were real happy about this, real upset about this. And the last one, you guys can read the other two on the bottom. It says, um, her voice is fine. Editing one is one direction is on sub of some shit or some shit is weird. Weird. Sometimes the dialogue takes too long for it to happen. Sometimes there are weird spaces between those words. It's hard to explain here, but her character is the only one that is like this. If that's not, it's not, it's not a game thing. Gamers are taking sure to leads, sure leads by a mile, being one of the biggest groups of psychopaths and R words, race, shamefulness. Yeah, and an overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Oh, and this was from the gamer PC gamer, I think. Yeah, it's the original one. I decided, um, I guess, like copy and paste this freaking. Um, News article, the head topics, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. The chick Lily guy, I guess I heard a little bit of her voice act, and I gotta say, yeah, it does kind of sound a little funky. It sounds, not gonna lie, I'm not trying to shit on this chick at all, like I said before. Absolutely love the living crap out of the beautiness and the prettiness and the hotness and the sexiness and the gorgeousness Asian women have. So uh, her on the outside looks extremely beautiful. Very gorgeous hot woman. If I ever had an Asian wife, which I got forbid, I would love to have one, even though it's probably highly doubt that's definitely not probably gonna happen. But if it did happen, hopefully she looks super beautiful like her. But oh man. That last post when she was talking about, oh, only white men and white male cis privileged men have rights to like 
I don't know what it was or tweet was exact, but it was something to a certain extent that like, white men in the voice acting roles in Hollywood have more better advantage than people of color. Something to that extent. I don't know. If I find the tweet or Instagram that post that she left before she deleted it, I'll leave it down below so you guys can read it. That's the only thing that turned me off about her, which sucked. That's a very huge fucking waste, too. But, yeah, it was kind of funky. It wasn't the worst I ever heard. It was all right. It wasn't like triple A, triple S ranked. Absolutely God tier like of a voice actress. I would love to hear because it, it sounded like it was real cheaply made. Kind of sounds shitty a little bit. I will say that, unfortunately. Maybe the other stuff that she ends up doing as a voice actress might sound better than that. Who knows? Maybe she did stuff before that I'm not aware of and sounds a billion times better than the impression she did for um, Ada Wong. Absolutely one of the best characters in that, sh in that freaking video game. Mega chef's kiss for that. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm going um, to finish it here and yeah. I'm done with that because as far as the harassment and like all oh, the death threats and all that DDoS, DDoSing and doxing her and shit, that one I really, really completely disagree with them fucking trolls doing that shit there. That's really, really way the fuck out of line. They should be thrown in prison for the rest of their lives doing that shit, especially to a beautiful, fine ass hot Asian chick like that. And that's it. I'm going to drop, drop it there and leave it at that. Thanks, sisters, about down below. Cartel signing down. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen. Girls from Bam, boys and fingers, as always. Sakura's Niki Komori. So I will see you next week as today, every night, wherever you're at in the world and universe out there. Stay tuned for more future content channel, including once a month or twice a month video game news, news, and manga news, Twitch news, drama news, Elon Musk news, reaction review segments up in the future, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's it. And of course, um, other random, um, weird, um, crazy, not political, but sometimes random ass news that's completely out of left field. And that's it. Peace out, my star crowd. Listen, bye. See you on the flip side. Talk to you soon. Stay safe. Stay easy. I'm gone. Goodbye.